From now until August 23rd, I am unofficially changing my name to Iwana Tortuga. What is up? I'm Iwana Tortuga and today we have another Pokemon video. We are opening up another one of these Reshizard boxes. I really emphasized this yesterday, but I still think this is just such a good product. I'm going to be praising it for a while. Um, that promo is still worth like in the teens of dollars if you sell it just as a single. Absolutely amazing. Really cool figure and a lot of attention to detail. Look at this. I didn't even notice this. <laughs> they got another picture of Reshiram. I don't know. Random flame here for I have no idea what reason, but uh, I did not pick up on this thing. First time I opened it. We're going to start cracking this open. Um, such a good product and I feel like it kind of like changes, follows a very different uh, scheme. So if we think back all the way back to like Team Up, right before Team Up, the um, Whale Lord Magikarp promo box came out before the Team Up set and then I think the tins came out, uh, and then the tins came out after Team Up, the Unbroken Bonds tins, like, oh no, I think they're Unified Minds tins, like we have, I don't know off the time I had when those are coming out, the Unbroken Bonds tins. I guess, is this the first one? Must be. Um, so it's very, you know, very different. And yeah, this product's so good. Look at this jumbo card. Like, I don't know, jumbo cards are almost, not bulk, but whatever the jumbo equivalent of bulk is. But man, this one looks so, this could be a movie poster. Like seriously. Uh, by the way, our Tutu account is still only at three. What is up with that? And uh, yeah, still looking for that reverse. That would be amazing when we pull that. best figure ever probably <laughs> haven't seen them all but that's got to be top tier all right code card if you need a reshizard for ptcgo and oh such a good pack selection roaring skies sure like if we have to get an old rotated old set i guess roaring skies will do it's just kind of a Necessary evil, I suspect, but then unbroken bonds, two unified minds. We got three additional ones to back us up, and let's just get right into it. As always, guys, if you do enjoy this video, enjoy this content, do me a favor, hit that like button down below to support the I Want a Tortuga channel. And uh, yeah, we'll go by that until August 23rd. And if you're not sure what the why that is, because August 23rd. The game is going to change again when Unify nope, Hidden Fates comes out, and that's what it's all going to be about. Oh my, I didn't even sleeve that insane promo. We're definitely going to do that in a minute, or in a few seconds. We've got a Gligar. Oh, I'm having trouble with my mic. Gligar, Binacle, Meowth, Cascoon. Our reverse is Atropius. Yeah, I still need to get that Tropius in Pokemon Go. And then, ooh, a very cool, is this the, uh, is it called Ancient Treat? I can't remember, but kind of like a full art foil. Um, I, I feel like they could start doing different things like this again, but I love that. I'm not sure why he's hitting the ground, but I feel maybe just flexing on some, some Pokemon that's watching or something. But uh, we forgot to sleeve up this insane promo. Boom. Yeah, that's a movie poster right there. But uh, yeah, August 23rd, Hidden Fates, and <laughs> all attention, more attention than on Unified Minds right now will shift entirely to Hidden Fates. We're going to be going for them shinies, and but it's starting with the pin collection. So um, I'll link a, like a post like somewhere, like a, uh, a link to the channel where we kind of go over the hidden fates what you need to know um, essentially get some product but don't go too hard in the beginning you know those those pin collections isn't the real prize the real prize is coming almost like a month later I think in sometime in September boom ah uh, we just got the belly flop polyrath when the ETBs come out and in between that we got some tins as well but the pin collection is probably gonna be the least uh, the most underwhelming one of the three, that's for sure. You know, their their strategy is to really backload these things, which not crazy about, but it's kind of like those uh these XY packs, <laughs> these products. It's just uh, 
necessary evil I suppose that we've we just have to deal with but you know despite that I think Hidden Fates is going to be absolutely amazing and this box oh it's perfect perfect product Normalium what is that some kind of it's a very strange word Hapu got a Shroomish Slaykoth Drifloon Dewpiter Drodagon a Fletchling for the reverse and uh, just a Drapion Hmm. One thing is like, if it's not a if it's not a booster box, I feel like we've been struggling a little bit in Unified Minds. Just haven't pulled a Tortuga in I don't remember how long. It's been longer than I'm comfortable with, that's for sure. So we've been. Uh, if you guys haven't been uh, checking out all the videos on the channel, we've been pumping out the Pokemon Masters content. Very good game. Definitely go check it out if you haven't. Um, there's plenty of guides on, on YouTube uh, how to like set up a VPN, but just set up a VPN, get a Singapore IP, and then get the game. It's tons of fun, but just don't rush through it, you know, because there's not a lot of content. It's kind of like early, it's not early access, but it's kind of. And then for our next Unified Minds pack, we got, oh my god, <laughs> I just said we were going through like a bit of a rut. And then, oh, okay, how about a hyper rare Raichu Alolan Raichu? Look at that shine okay amount of texture still gonna beat up the the uh not the card quality just the texture quality if that makes sense it's a little bit lower since team up in my opinion but oh man that is that looks pretty cool i i do still maintain that i obviously like the hypers are the the chase ones but this like i don't know the the rainbow kind of takes away from a little bit not gonna lie like as now when i'm looking at this like oh what do the other ones look like i bet it might look a little bit cooler more more detail but boom we got a hyper rare pull and uh guys these boxes are insane <laughs> let's take a quick look we got a tandem shock i believe this is like zapdos this pokemon is on your bench yep does 80 more damage and your pokemon active pokemon is now paralyzed hmm i don't like these energy costs but that is pretty good and then lightning ride gx which is pokemon with one of your bench sure if this has two additional ones attached to it does an additional 100 damage um, I feel like this does a lot of different things, but none of them very good. So, the GX attack is just okay. Tandem Shock, I do like. If that was another, like, two colorless ones, like, oh man, this thing would be ultra strong. But as is, I feel like it's worthy, but not good enough. And, uh, so we had a home run of this premium collection box, guys. So good. If, even if you didn't pre-order so you have to pay full price like 30 something dollars you know i think it's it's as far as is it worth that much eh, it depends on what you pull at that point but as far as comparing to any other collection box that i can think of that i've ever opened this one definitely is better so even if you pull full retail uh might be worth it to get at least one just to have this alternate art card absolutely amazing if you're going to get it on the secondary market you're looking at paying you know maybe like 13 15, 14 15 dollars so to to get those packs and see if you can get something good i think it's still worth it all right on to our next pack now we're on to our bonus three packs we got a murkrow a snover he looks kind of happy a type null type nose always kind of weird and a talon flame all right so uh, i think that means i can't complain about the polls for for <laughs> At least a little bit we just pulled a hyper rare off of a uh random product which is that is always like that's jackpot right there not to not have have that be one of your kind of like guaranteed things actually not guaranteed but most likely you'll get from a booster box that's a home run and we still got two more packs man where are them tortugas at seriously all right come on it's gonna be right oh ages slash i guess we'll take a rare can we look at this yet this pokemon knocked out you can put it into your hand instead of discard pile. How would I do that? Trash Lash. Interesting. And then a Whimsicott. Regular rare. All right, guys. On to our last bonus pack. Let's see. What what card do we? I guess um you know we should get we should get that Mew Mewtwo. I feel like that is the chase card. I think it's you know I. I Reshizard, I bought a bunch of ones just, you know, uh, off the secondary market, and I can say with 
great confidence that I will not be doing the same. I just, it wouldn't surprise me if Mew Mewtwo Tag Team GX kind of goes the same route as Test Tube Mewtwo, where when they kind of came out, it was super hyped. I think you could, to get like a PSA 10 one, I think you're looking at like $100 or something like that. And I feel like the price has gone down since then. In fact, I think the Rainbow Rare is actually higher price than the um, than that test tube one. I could be wrong, but my point is there was a lot of initial hype and then kind of like a steady downtrend. And I bet this one's going to follow similar versus like the Reshizard the Hyper Rare or even these, these Alternards. I feel like it'll definitely maintain value and slowly creep up over time. So I could be wrong, but just my own thoughts. And then, all right. On to our last pack. We did not get the Tortuga. Dude, I don't even think we pulled a single one. This is weird. We still only pulled three, but for our last pack, we have... Boom! What are you? This weird gem alien. Gem alien. Type stage one, 80 HP. All right, Psy Punch thinks. Mysterious noise. Shuffle this card and all cards attached to it into your deck. Your opponent can't play item cards from their hand during their next turn. Hmm. If that was kind of some kind of ability, that would be OP as an attack. I think it's nothing special. The fact that you used his attack, that means he's still in the active. So they don't even need an item to knock you out. <laughs> so I don't think that's that good. But uh, man, absolutely insane opening. Obviously, we always get this. Guys, you're like guaranteed like a $15 card. And yeah, if you're lucky, you get a hyper rare as well. Such a good product. Can't emphasize this enough. Rainbow Rare, Lolan Raichu, and Raichu. I really like the idea when they kind of combine these guys for a tag team. All right, so that's it for today's opening. Our Tortuga count is still only at three. What? Man, this, uh. Especially as far as getting the reverse. I'm telling you guys, when 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 uh, if you ever go for a specific reverse of uncommon, as long as it's not a common, like that, I'm I'm shocked at how difficult it is. I didn't realize that. Uh, but that's it for today. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. All down below. I'm a Wanna Tur. Oh, I'm a I want a Tortuga, and I'll catch you guys next time.